What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my weapon loadout going into Trials of Osiris coming out this Friday, October 30th at 10 a.m. Pacific. So let's get into my weapon loadout. I'm on my Hunter right now and uh, we're wearing some masks in honor of the Festival of the Lost this week. Uh, pretty cool Halloween theme that's going on this week. I like it a lot more. Then last year's one with the jackalites and the spawn animation thing. Uh, Flight of Shadows is what it's called, I believe. And uh, those things are still in the game right now for this Halloween. But uh, this it has a quest involved with this. And you're trying to earn some cool masks. And it's really fun. It's, it's a nice addition um, to the game along with all the other stuff that we do on a weekly basis. So... Uh, just wanted to start off with that. Pretty fun, and uh, I like it a lot so far. Hopefully, they add some more stuff further into the event, so that that would be pretty cool. And then, so going into my loadout or my setup, um, right here I'm on my hunter. And um, in terms of a weapon loadout, there are a few weapons that stand out right now in the game. Um, in Crucible, if you play some Crucible and you're planning on competing or participating. In Trials of Osiris, it is the most competitive Crucible event in Destiny. If you're new to Destiny in year two, it is the most competitive PvP event that this game has to offer as of right now. And um, it's Elimination, which is the game mode where you have uh, no respawns and you have one life per round. First to five rounds wins. And it's, it's pretty intense. It can get pretty intense, especially now that they made it a little bit harder and they're trying to match you up with teams that have the same amount of wins as you so it's gonna be a lot more intense and you're gonna to wanna to gear up and bring your best stuff to the event so going into my primaries starting off right now I'm using my Hawksaw that is my go-to primary weapon at the moment uh, this is mine specifically I don't have the vendor one that he sells this is sold by the Crucible Quartermaster and um, that one has the secret round as the perk on it, the main perk. Uh, mines came in an engram though, so mines has this hammer forge, which is really solid. It gives me a lot more range on this weapon and allows me to melt people from super far away. I also got counterbalance on it, which improves it so much. Pretty much, even though my stability bar is not maxed out, counterbalance doesn't actually affect the bar on the stats, but in actuality, I think my stability is full because of this perk, uh, because it's so stable. It has no recoil every time I shoot it, so it's super good. And I also got a uh, snapshot, and I do have hand laid stock, which I can use um, to counter the or to counter this, I guess, a little bit and to make it more stable. But I think with this, it makes it so stable that I don't need hand laid stock. So that's why I use snapshot instead sometimes or majority of the time um, but it, hand laid stock is still really good it makes my stability more um, maxed out and then hammer forge can improve my range since this uh, decreases the range a little bit so it's pretty solid overall I like it a lot it's my go-to weapon at the moment and uh, once I get some more gear to uh, infuse it up a little bit more I'm probably gonna level it up or infuse it higher um, so it's a little bit more powerful for trials. So that's that's what I'm hoping for with my raid drops this week. And then um, for other primaries, uh, this one is pretty solid. The Grass of Malak. This is the one that you can get from uh, the Omnigol Strike, Will of Crota. And uh, there's a lot of people that have been farming that strike. And it's pretty solid. It does have slightly less impact than the Hawksaw. But it's still really good. It has a really high fire rate, which kind of makes up for the impact. So you can just burst them really quickly. Uh, the only thing is that you're kind of looking for perks that boost the stability or the range as well. So that's what you kind of want for the pulse rifles. I think pulse rifles are probably one of the better uh, weapon types in terms of primaries in the meta right now. Um, scout rifles might be the other choice you want to go with. But auto rifles and hand cannons are kind of on the downside of primaries at the moment in Crucible. So I'd go with a Pulse Rifle or Scout if I was to choose a specific weapon type. Um, but yeah, the Grass of Malak, I didn't get good perks on mines when I was trying to farm this. 
And uh, if you can get some good perks on it, it's a really solid PvP weapon as well. Also, a recommendation is the Villainy Pulse Rifle. This is the one sold by the Future War Cult Lady. And uh, mine's came in an engram also. And so mine says Head Seeker. It has perfect balance and spray and play. So pretty solid as well. I kind of like this one just as much. It's it's about just as good as my Hawksaw in my opinion. So any one of these are pretty solid. Even the Iron Banner one, if you got a good one, is really good. The Neuron's Mercy. Uh, that's also another solid one. In terms of scout rifles, if you guys want to use scout rifles, the Hung Jury is pretty solid, I've heard, from the Dead Orbit vendor. And um, Talalok is really good as well, but you need to be a Warlock for that, so you can't use that on all your characters. But, yeah, there's some other... or This this is a pretty solid scout rifle as well. The Boolean Gemini, I heard, pretty solid in PvP as well. Um, I kind of like Pulse Rifles, though, so I don't really have too much... Um, opinions on different scouts so I stick to my pulse rifles because I like that more than scouts that's that's just me though for these special weapons uh, my go-to special weapon at the moment is my thousand yard stare it has a very high impact so that you can uh, kill people off the reses because when you got an o when you res someone in trials they have an overshield and unless you have a high impact sniper rifle such as this then you will not be able to kill them in one shot to the head so I like this one a lot. Mine doesn't have the greatest of perks. I wish I had something like Hidden Hand on it to improve my aim assist. But it's still a really solid weapon overall. It still has a good aim assist in general as well. And then also a pick that a lot of people choose in uh, PvP is the Irene Sniper Rifle. Uh, this one is one that the Gunsmith has offered as an Arms Day order uh, one week. And this one has Luck in the Chamber which unfortunately can one shot you in the body so that's kinda something that we didn't really want to carry over into year two after the final rounding that was happening last year in trials and in crucible in general but uh, luck in the chamber is it's it's random because it is the luck in the chamber so you don't know which one it's gonna happen on but still I I wish they didn't have a one shot body shot kill in uh, in terms of a sniper so that's something that a lot of people might use as well. Um, a lot of people might use this Conspiracy Theory D shotgun as well because you could just pick it up by completing the um, quest chain that involved the strikes and the nightfall and stuff like that. And this one's really solid actually. It's pretty similar to the old shotguns that were good back in year one because it has Rangefinder which is the best perk now that Shot Package has been taken out of the game. And it has the max impact, max range with a uh, rifle barrel. And it also has like uh, accurate ballistics, stuff like that. So pretty solid shotgun in my opinion. A lot of people are going to be using this as well. Or they might be using other shotguns with similar stats in terms of high impact and high range. So you got to expect that for short game as, as well. And then for your uh, heavy slot, um, I like the... Quillum's Terminus, the raid machine gun, quite a bit for heavy and crucible. But in trials, because you only got one round of heavy and a lot of people are going to stay at distances, you're probably going to see rocket launchers the most out of anything. So go pick up a good rocket launcher, and the perk you're going to want is grenade and horseshoes. Um, the one that the gunsmith sold one week, which is this one, the Soros JLB 47, is a really solid pick. Um, because it has the heavy payload, it also has the javelin, which boosts your blast radius and velocity, which is really essential alongside of grenade and horseshoes. So if you do happen to have this one and you picked it up, then you're then you're really good to go. Another one that's really solid, if you don't, uh, you can get the truth. If you have the year one truth, you can go pick up a blueprint for it if you don't have one yet. Or you can try to get lucky and get it as a drop like I did and get a 310 one. Um, I think these are both solid choices in terms of rockets. If you want to, you can use swords as well. I think swords could be viable. Um, the bolt caster is probably the best sword you want to use though because you can shoot the um, the arc disc at people. So uh, you can kind of hit them from a range and you don't have to be up close as much. Uh, so that's another choice you can go with as well. In terms of your gear and stuff, your armor... Um, there's nothing really specific that I'd recommend. Um, actually, gauntlets I'd recommend 
picking up gauntlets that increase the reload speed of the weapon types that you're using. So um, for me, I use pulse rifles, so that's why I picked up this Bog Wild from the Vanguard, and it has pulse rifle reloader on it, so that's why I picked it up. And it's really solid in Crucible, because having that extra reload speed for your primary can be a lot helpful in uh, tight situations where you need to gun someone down uh, really quickly or in a timely manner. So it's really helpful if you have a reload gauntlet for your specific weapon that you're using. And then in terms of everything else, uh, maybe for your boots you want extra heavy ammo or extra ammo for whatever you're using because that's always helpful. And then for your exotic armor piece, um, the only thing that I'd recommend, I guess, as of right now, because there's not really any super good exotics in the game as of right now for armors, for all the characters, in my opinion. Uh, so I'd go with, at least for now, a revive, a quick revive uh, piece of armor or exotic armor. So, for example, the Crest of Alpha Lupi for the Hunter or the Titan or the Light Beyond Nemesis for the Warlock. So... I'd go with this because having quick revive is really good in certain scenarios in elimination or in trials because just getting those quick revives can be the change in you winning a round and that's really good, really helpful a lot of times. So I'd say having quick revive is essential at least two of your teammates or two of your teammates should have quick revive because it works both ways as well. So yeah, so... Those are my uh, picks for weapons, for armor, for loadouts. In terms of subclasses, I guess um, it's kind of your preference. Obviously, for Titans, Sunbreaker is probably the best choice. Um, for Warlocks and Hunters, my opinion right now, Warlocks, I choose Sunsinger still because Sunsinger, having that Fireborn can be the turn of a round and can win you rounds. Uh, so I'd say Sunsinger over... Voidwalker or Stormcaller at the moment for Trials and then for the Hunter um, Gold Gunslinger is really good Golden Gun, but um, I think Blade Dancer still is somewhat viable in the meta right now Even though it got nerfed from uh, the 2.0 patch that came out before Taking King and uh, Night Stalker can be good to neutralize other supers to Utilize your invisibility factor a lot in Crucible as well. So I think Hunters is a lot of variability. It's your preference in that uh, character or class. But for Warlock and Titan, I'd go with Sunsinger and for Sunbreaker. So yeah, that's my opinions. That's my picks. That's my weapon loadouts, all that stuff for Trials. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm pretty excited for trials and hopefully we can get some lighthouses. Me and my team and um, I can show you guys my rewards and stuff and what I get. So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!